Good evening everyone. In this video tonight, let's ask how to make more friends. So let's say you feel lonely and you can't make friends easily. So how can you make it? What's advice for you? Please think about yourself if you want to have this reading. Think about yourself and choose one deck. We have four different tarot card decks here. Number one, two, three and four. Have you chosen? So let's start with our deck number one. Our deck number one, Tarot of the Old Path. Okay, let's see. Situation, problem advice and outcome so situation four of pentacles well as you can see uh, the four of pentacles is the card of a miser it can mean that um, you know the situation is you know why you can't make friends is because maybe you're making money right now maybe you're busy with your work and maybe you don't have time you know maybe money is important for you right now finances your career and because of that uh, you cannot spare any time to make friends four of pentacles can also mean that um, simply you do not want to invest in finding those friends yeah maybe you don't like sharing your time and energy with people that much. It can be that you don't want to change your schedule or your lifestyle or maybe it's some sort of like protective, protective mechanism here. Uh, you know, like if you let people in, you know, they might disrupt your lifestyle or something. It can be that you had um, your quite well off right now anyway without friends also because you have materialistic things that compensate for those friends let's say you have things to do you have uh, books to read uh, movies to watch and you're pretty happy yeah so it just shows that you're not letting them in it doesn't show that there's some problem uh, you know with you it it can be that the problem is like so to say in your decision not to make friends but maybe the decision was made um, you know very quietly subconsciously uh, kind of in your head so you don't remember it but it can totally show that your priority is right now your work and your you know gaming and building your life and building your nest and things like that so what's problem with, what's the problem with that well eight of swords it can be that you feel lonely in that it, it can feel that you feel lonely in that and uh, it can be that your self-esteem has gone down uh, it can be that because you tried to be busy in earning money or creating a comfort zone it can be that you didn't notice how you alienated yourself from other people and uh, while you don't share that much yourself it can be that uh, some sort of wall has grown around you and you feel now what to do you know I don't remember how to make friends I don't know how to do it anymore so what you've built kind of became like a jail for you it can be by saving your time, you know, by trying not to invest in friends, like not to waste your time on friends and things like that. It can be that now you don't know what to do, you know, you feel lonely. So what is the advice here? Look, Two of Swords, is, it shows really you need to make a choice here. I think Two of Swords represent your two beliefs that clash. One, of, one part of you says, 
that you should make friends and you should not be lonely but the other part doesn't want to sacrifice that precious time or energy or money you know that you, you know maybe when you are with friends you have to give them also time and share gifts and messages and you have to correspond with them call them go to their house and things like that and maybe you uh, don't do not want to you know lose your time because for some reason you know maybe you're up to something yeah like big goals big you know dreams and things like that so you have a clashing belief that's uh, not letting you make friends so you need to solve that thing you need to make up your mind do i really want friends and if you really uh, will want friends I, I believe that the path will open up and they will come into your life okay so what will happen will you make friends what will you do about this this is just the what will happen card and it just shows will you listen to this advice will you follow it will you solve this or not or will you decide look you will you will make friends and you will find someone at least one person i think this is more like one-to-one -one connection it's either a romantic partner or a best friend so you might not find like uh, groups of friends you know like some people have 50 friends 20 10 friends five best friends you know this is one-to-one -one friendship like best friends you know so i think here you will find someone with whom you will connect with whom you will connect and um it's gonna be a thing one-to-one -one kind of a uh, relationship it can be a romantic partner as i said it can be boyfriend girlfriend it can be husband wife it can be also just a simple person a colleague with whom you connect while you know having a heart to heart conversation so definitely your story ends well here and if you don't want to spare like time for hundreds of friends so you will have at least one friend very good one who will understand and listen okay so this was our reading number one let's move on now to our reading number two this is our deck number two and it's hermetic tarot deck So you say you don't have friends let's see how to make more friends situation represents what's happening problem what's the problem about that situation advice and most likely outcome based by your choice of course not just fate okay so situation nine of wands lord of great strength with this card we can say that you really struggle in making friends it can mean that you really really you know try making the friends you know in all possible ways and it just doesn't happen it just it doesn't happen at the last moment uh, it doesn't doesn't work out you know it's nearly there but it doesn't work out it can be also that uh, making friends is very very stressful for you it can be that you have some sort of social anxiety and you, you won't go into this defense mode like when people approach you you get into the shell and basically it's very very uh, difficult experience for you it can be that sort of thing here with nine of wands uh, in some cases it can be that you don't know but you're protecting yourself from people like you're making this fence around you because great strength it means that we're pushing against something it takes a lot of energy from us the whole subject the whole thing so it's really intense so let's look at the next card to see what's really happening what's the problem here three of wands lord of established strength strength again we have the strength thing the the ones what's the problem you know establish strength strength i don't know maybe you're too strong of a person or maybe you like you're so strong of a person people just 
run away from you because of your energy is very strong like fiery um, maybe you use strength in relationships maybe for example have some autism or something where you there is aggression in you in some way because we have fire burning everywhere so maybe some energy that something some problem with some energy like very fiery very strong energy that pushes people away or maybe you're pushing too hard to make friends you know that sort of thing so yeah we have some sort of right now I'm not it's not clear for me let's see what is the advice the hangman spirit of the mighty waters so water against fire we have passive attitude maybe you know wants me in action it means so much energy and action and strength maybe talk about you t pushing too hard forcing it on yourself to to make friends like it's real like your quest a spiritual or life quest you're trying to achieve it um by making friends and they kind of feel that energy and run away maybe it's something forced and uh very uh unnatural in a way so the hangman actually talks to relax talks about basically relaxing and letting it go just hanging on that tree basically if you have too much strength i don't know what it talks about it exactly either you're too forceful if you're too forceful you have to stop being forceful with yourself and others if you're trying to uh, you know um force yourself to make friends also you have to stop doing that um if you're using too much for example pushing things on people too much like trying to control them in some ways and they get scared so it means that you should sacrifice and let them do what they want to do let them give them their way you know so it's basically the advice is complete passivity and letting people do whatever they want it's kind of relaxing a little bit you know whatever that means it says relaxing a little bit and what will happen in the future so we have eight of wands lord of swiftness again we have those wands i think you love those wands anyway eight of wands is the lord of swiftness and it talks about action uh, phone calls communication things happening things uh, friends will come you know if you're having in mind a certain friend yes they will come into your life and they will be there and things will happen action will happen and uh, i don't think you will be able to relax for a long time because it's lots of action um things will go smooth with your friends i, I have we have many phone calls we have many people we have many messages so maybe many I don't know, like many people talking to you, you talking to many people. So I think here it's really not a problem with making friends. It's like you maybe have too many friends here and uh, maybe it's exhausting you somehow. It says uh, have a rest a little bit and until they will come back with great force again. Okay. So this was our reading number two. Let's move on to our reading number three. Um, this one was a weird one, to be honest. So if you know what it means, what it talks about, it will be nice to read in the comment section below. Okay, our deck number three. Um, you want to have more friends. How to make more friends? This is about your personal situation with your relationship with your friends okay situation problem or device and outcome page of cups well page of cups is the situation it can talk that uh, you're a very nice person approachable gentle talkative easy going um good energy positive energy 
everybody likes you, you know, smiley, cute, um, pretty, and, you know, basically very easy to talk to, very easy to be around, and um, likable, you know, by everyone, likable by everyone. Page of Cups can mean a very nice person, yeah, it can mean that... Um, people get a good vibe from you when they talk to you, when they are around you. You might be also having a sense of childish, young, you know, inexperienced, immature, but in a good way. Like, the life hasn't spoiled you yet, you know, that sort of person. Still good, still nice person, you know, haven't had any uh, real problems in life, something like that. You can also talk about your young and can bring an element of a child here maybe you work with kids or you have a you have many children you know in the house so all your life is just with children so the only people you you are with are children what's the problem with that well you're not happy you're depressed you don't really like this the way the way things are you know you want something else it doesn't satisfy you from inside you don't know why it just doesn't satisfy you let's see what do you really want what do you really need let's see oops just this card was opened what do you really need knight of cups maybe a romantic partner maybe fun adventure and flirt who knows Maybe you're dreaming about that prince charming on a white horse or princess charming, who knows. So, romantic, maybe you're a dreamer personality as well. You want uh, love, you want romance, you want things like that. More movement in that area. Okay, so what is the advice for you? Oh, wow. Two of Cups. Well, for you, advice is to look for a romantic partner, to be with your romantic partner. If you want romance, you should look for it. Um, and uh, how can you look for it? Well, it will happen through, you know, through action, through effort and you will have to do actually something um, shows patience as well as strength card means patience and a little bit of time and a little bit uh, fight for it it can talk about animals so let's say if you have also animals at home like dogs or uh, or something so maybe there's some animal group or some vet clinic or something you can go to and meet someone like maybe dog training maybe there's someone in that group because strength card is also dogs and cats also this card can be about hair maybe it's a hair salon maybe you can meet someone at the hair salon beauty beauty parlor or something Okay. Uh, how to meet that love? Basically, um, don't uh, worry that much about it because you have to be in a great mood when you meet that person. You have to focus. You know, you can. With this card, there is a sense that you're hiding what you need, and maybe you have to find a way to communicate what you need, um, at least to yourself. Okay, and let's see what will happen. Ooh, five of Swords. Five of Swords is uh, a card, oh, well, it can talk about. Mm, 
Well, in this case, it can be that there might be um, a risk of a misunderstanding. In this situation, it can be that there is a risk of even, you know, upsetting somebody due to trying to find some someone here, like a friend or a romantic partner. So it can be that um, you have to check caref carefully, you know, if the person is available or, or not available, that sort of thing. Here it can talk a little bit about... Um, Conflict, conflict, yeah. How to avoid that conflict? What not to do? We have, uh, be careful, <laughs> it's very funny, be careful of new, anything new that comes to your life. Be very careful about new offers, new proposals, new um, people, you know, and uh, that looks very good, like someone... So, yeah, we have a very interesting situation. What to do then? How to manage? Hmm. Here uh, it can talk about looking forward into your life, looking forward, making plans about your future and uh, actually also planning your career, your business because this card says that there are... Um, Everything is open for you in your life. Your paths are open and uh, you can go far, you know. There are many opportunities for you. Uh, you can talk about studying, creating, work, uh, projects, things, you know. There, there is lots of lots of stuff waiting for you. It can be not necessarily romantic. Um, just basically look forward into your life look forward what you really want don't get stuck in this drama oh now now i'm changing my mind now if i meant love partnership you know here we have this card that can talk about an affair actually because it says avoid everything new and if you follow this advice or actually end up upsetting someone so we don't want to upset someone like like um so what to do is you might change your focus from that loneliness and friendships that you're looking for into something more like career and how to this is the same energy yeah we're just taking that energy and putting it into something different not love but the the feeling will be the same like you uh, channel that energy successful into something that uh, was productive um I know it's very uh, might be very hard to do because if you want for adventure romantic adventure here and it says kind of you know look for a romantic partner but because of the outcome I'm saying that maybe it just says talk to someone best friend your own partner maybe even spend more time with your pet and basically just don't think so much you know because idle mind is a devil's workshop so if you think too much, maybe you start thinking things that really uh, make it worse than it is. So something like that here we have, okay. You can talk about studies also, this card, joining a school, enrolling in some course, or basically growing, learning, growing academically. Okay, so this was our reading number three. Let's move on to reading number four now. Our reading number four, and it's light and shadow tarot. How to make more friends situation problem advice and outcome situation the tower tower usually can talk about uh, you know difficult situation in your life right now it can talk about a situation where something has crumbled down 
for example, you're undergoing some sort of chaos and everything. It can be that you lost where to live, you lost your job, you lost your friendships, and you can talk about divorce or sub divorce with your partner, also love triangles, and basically all, all bad stuff. <laughs> in, if it's not happening in your life, you know, that kind of level, you can also talk about gen gentler feelings, like some sort of realization, uh, change in life, um, you know, where you're falling and you feel you need someone. Maybe everybody's turning their backs to you with this card because Tower is big uh, reconstruction of your life. So things tend to change and be different okay what is the problem here six of cups uh, okay so six of cups is the problem here and uh, we're having basically maybe kindness you need to share with someone maybe um, uh, you want this warmth and kindness from people you know just connection help or sharing with someone that emotional kind of cozy feeling so this is missing okay and what is advice is the princess of wands Princess of Wands is the advice. Well, here we have again, like a cat, a wild cat, a leopard or something. It definitely talks about courage. It definitely talks about not being afraid of new things, not being afraid to get to know somebody. If uh, you're in a new place and you're missing someone, uh, so it's like beginning from the beginning again. It can talk about courage to talk to, to someone, about a courage to connect with someone, you know. Princess of Wands is a page of wands, basically. And this card can talk about being shy, you know, in, in making friends. So this card talks about don't be shy. What will happen? Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is a very good card. Um, I think you will have an opportunity and a possibility to make friends and basically, or even romantic, some sort of uh, like romantic connection will be there. Uh, maybe you'll fall in love with someone. Uh, maybe you'll have an idea how to make new friends. You know, maybe you'll find that connection with some of that kindness and goodness and, and those things. You know, let's see. With this spread, uh, all those very difficult with the tower, you okay. know, I still feel that it's pretty positive because you heal very fast. Because you already realize, you know, what uh, you need, you know, to get back on your feet. So I'm thinking everything is gonna be all right here. Look, you chose financial problem, perhaps maybe love problem, some sort of separation, because uh, tower is with five of pentacles, and here I can talk about um, losing your loved one because of some out of of something that you cannot control, some outer. Uh, thing yeah, it can be that also something financial problems yeah prince of pentacles it can be financial as well mm. maybe you, you lost a partner of many years like you lost a family or you know because of his, uh, you know, he's a king of wands because of his selfishness. So all you have is memories and you want kind of the same thing back, or the good thing. Princess of Wands can also talk about the child. If you have a children, if it's the marriage here, yeah, because Ten of Cups is here. And we have the couple card there. And King of Wands is a man. So Princess of Wands can be a, a child and 
it says think about your child how to make your child happy and through your child you can make more friends with other people like go do activities with your kid and then you'll connect with other people as well the world looks like pregnancy here small baby king of cups yeah basically i think um even if it's uh, like a uh, maybe you're pregnant who knows so it's again think about your child um <clears throat> offer yourself this kindness you know go to people go out there and talk nice to other people they'll find someone who will respond the same way you know what you give out you'll get back the outcome again okay so one looks like a birth of a child for me Ace of Cups and Prince of Cups and Ace of Wands, pregnancy or the birth of a child or something good happening, like new face in life. Yeah, so in this case, uh, I think, you know, we have that sort of situation. Uh, yeah, this is it. This was our reading number four. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you next time. Please share your comments in the comment section below. And have a good night and a good day. Bye-bye.